Hi, welcome back to a new part of our tutorial to build a motorbike. Um, today we make here the bike part. So I enabled screencast so you can see what I tap there. Okay, we start. Add mesh plane, rotate x 90 degrees, scale x, bring it there. Then we need word selection. Bring them down, that a little up, that a little to the X, little down, that a little up. So we have the basic shape of it. So now we want to have a hole in that. So we take here the front face, X root scale, and we got that. Then we press X to delete only the face and the whole face there is a complete face behind that don't forget that most make that wrong and X delete that face too so now we have the base mesh and we can handle that we go here and X through that in the Y so we have that then we take their modifier on so we need the object mode and then modifier add modifier subdivision surface and level 2 and now we have to sharpen up that that it looks correct so we bring in here loops but we have one problem I see it yeah we bring in here the loop but it don't sharpen up there so we need to make here a loop to get the influence to that then make here loop control R make a loop here so we have that one then we make the same with this part here we bring it up to and down here too the same we do with this one control R make a loop sharp up it and same to this point we shall map that then we can make here one and down one here so we have that thing that we want and we can handle the roundness like we would when we want to have that more so we bring up this loop little or bring up that loop a little so you can control that good um we take a smooth on it then you see there comes the shading errors um that we can handle by using uh add split on it and then this shading errors again and completely we don't need here at the front faces or we don't need a smooth on it so we can select them and simply say here flat then we had no props with that good that was it to this part that is the part for the back grab bring it away so next one this here so we add oh that was wrong one so control set to go back control set to go back okay add mesh cube scale x scale set 
scale x goes to side view and scale y so we got that and now we want to bevel that so we take all but then we disable the back yes then control b we try to bevel them and you see we got that form that we have there so we we'll let that top view jump to it and that should be a little bit uh, smaller than the down part so we get background selection word selection border selection would be and then scale down so we have original that we want to have there and you see here two stripes come in there we can model them or we can make that with um with normals or so on um that's your turn you must decide what you want to take i make here smooth on i give them control r or another loop to the back so the shading arrow is gone then i make a copy shift d then i need to cut holes in there so we build some add mesh cylinder 24 is okay scale down rotate x 90 degrees scale down again so we have that that we want to cut in this one and you see the proportion don't fit so i give them other color that i see better so material new one give them a red so i see better difference so that can be the whole there yes and it must be longer to cut it out so scale y and bring that into let's see what happens can be a little bit more to the left such like that i think so we have no that's too much it has a border there to the side so that is better okay so now we want to cut this hole into the object so what we have to do we must know the name that's first the name is cylinder 2 and it must apply it first so object apply rotation scale set the origin to the geometry then the same with the original object basic object apply rotation scale set origin to geometry good on this white object we want to have a modifier and that is the boolean and he should make the difference between that object and the other one and the other one is cylinder 2 so we say here cylinder 2 and make on um, apply so we got that when we now put them away you see there is a hole in same we make on the other side so we take here again the boolean and again the cylinder 2 oh okay we've forgotten one we must apply first the new shape of this model so object apply rotation scale and set the origin to geometry here 
that is the same so we can do here now the boolean on the white one and take here the cylinder 2 and we make a difference and apply them so now we have two holes in the object you see that it don't look good that is because we uh, need here an um, edge split on it then you see it looks better and we need to smooth on it so he smooths out that things there good but we done that we only need here the screws in and when I look that are cross screws I think yeah that are cross okay fire safe then we built cross screws so add mesh UV sphere 32 is too much to 24 is okay then we scale down then with background selection and word selection B for board selection get that here box selection or board selection like you would uh, delete the words we have to have that is too similar so scale set okay we have to close it it must be an closed object to use boolean so F to close it then we need to smooth on it okay first thing done now we need the cross to cut it into so we add mesh cube we scale them down to the x and to the y control set we only need to scale in the Y then edit mode control R make two loops scale Y uh, scale X okay then block that two faces on the sides out so scale extrude and that by individual origins scale Y now we can click here and bring them out to the same size when we look from top you can tweak that and the same with the back we take it this one and bring them out okay so we go back here to medium point we have to apply that here so object apply rotation scale and set the origin to geometry now we bring them into the object we want to cut in that is our screw there we look from the top and we see that's in the middle that's okay we get set to see it yeah it's correct wonderful so we need the name the name is cube 6 and here we want to cut in so here we need the boolean and we want to get the difference between them and the cube 6 and then we apply now we can move that away and we have to cross it that looks bad because of shading so we need an ad split ad split makes it okay wonderful all done so we can now go here back to material mode 
we can move this one and this one to second layer there we put all that we don't need and here we get this um, bottom extrude and bring them a little down to get a rear screw uh, type there okay then we shift D make a secure copy of it Re rotate X 90 degrees bring it there we go here to solid mode so we see better the difference and then we can plug them in a little bit more scale a little bit more up a little bit more to the side you must tweak it like you would then shift D make a copy of them bring them there too and that is okay so we have built that thing that we seen there these stripes we can make with normal later that is no problem so we let it like it is file save sharp edges I disable here and we need here uh, two loops in to sharpen up the edges so control R make one to the left control R make one to the right so now that looks better but you see a uh, difference here that is not on the same axis uh, there so when we go top view and take here background selection boot selection with a border selection and then we mark them and say scale y zero then they all at the same high and then we don't have that problem there okay so that is good enough for now we will change it all later much more so we don't need that anymore and that so M to move to the second layer so we have that two things done file save and we see us in the next tutorial thanks a lot bye